Hello everyone and welcome to another video! Today we are going to be making a nice firm pannier cheese that stays together when you add it to curries for example, but isn't so tough that it squeaks when you sort of bite against it with your teeth. Pannier is a perfect starter cheese if you haven't made cheeses before because it uses acid, that's the lemon juice part of it, rather than rennet to curdle the milk solids. And it doesn't need to be cured or anything like that, so it's ready to use from the day that you make it. So, for pannier cheese, you're going to need two lemons, about one and a half litres of full fat milk, the sort of supermarket standard pasteurised stuff is absolutely fine, a cheesecloth, a large pan that's quite heavy based if possible, a large bowl with a sieve, and a few other bits and bobs from around the kitchen. And the first thing you need to do is juice your lemons. So I'm using an electric juicer just for convenience sake, but a fork works just as well so long as you remove any pips or chunks or anything like that from the juice, as you don't want these getting into the cheese at the end. Next you need to add your milk into the large pan, and then set that on a stove to bring the milk to the boil. While the milk is heating up, be sure to stir it at a fairly constant rate so that it doesn't stick on the bottom, and a heavy pan really does help with this because it distributes the heat more evenly so that the milk is less likely to catch and burn in specific spaces. And as soon as the milk comes to the boil, and you'll know when it does because it'll bubble and start to rise really quickly, you need to turn off the heat but leave the pan on the same hob. Stir it a little bit more, just to knock the bubbles back so that we can see the milk at the bottom. And then we need to add in the lemon juice until the milk curdles. It's difficult to say exactly how much lemon juice you'll need because it depends on the milk, but I would allow about two tablespoons per litre just to be safe, to make sure you've definitely got enough. So to curdle the milk you need to add roughly a teaspoon of lemon juice at a time and stir constantly as you do so. As soon as the acidity in the milk raises to a certain point, you'll see all of the milk solids starting to clump together. And eventually as they do so, they will start to separate out and you'll be left with curds and whey. The whey should be a clearish yellow in colour, and if it's still quite cloudy in your mixture, then add a little bit more acid just to finish off the job. Now we leave that on the heat, and in the meantime, place your cheesecloth into the sieve over a bowl, and we're going to strain the curds away from the whey. Use a spoon to get the last few bits out. The more you've got, the more cheese you'll have at the end of the day. And then to remove any remaining acid from the curds, we're just going to give them a quick run under a cold tap. You can break them apart to make things easier. And then using the cheesecloth you need to squeeze as much of the remaining whey from the cheese as possible. Give it a really good crushing so that it's all forced out, it'll be trapped in and amongst the curds. And the more of the whey that you can remove, the firmer the paneer is going to be once it's set. To help with this we are then going to compress it under a weight for a few hours. And I like to sandwich mine between two plates which I'm then going to put about 3 kilograms on top of. Make sure the cheesecloth isn't too tight, you want the cheese to be able to spread out a little bit so that the liquid can come out. And then we place the top plate on top, wedge it down a little bit just to get it as stable as possible. And obviously, if you've got a cheese press at home then use that, but I don't have one so I'm using the plate method instead. Anyway, I happen to have a 3 kilogram bag of dog food on hand, so I'm going to use that, but you can use anything else that comes to roughly the same weight. Tins are particularly useful. And now we leave this for about three hours just to press out as much of the liquid as possible. And here we are, three hours later, having a look at how our cheese is getting on. You can see it's now a flattish shape as it's been squashed down, and the remaining whey has been forced out of it. And all that's left to do now is to cut it into the traditional cubes. And there you have a nice, firm, dense textured, but not squeaky against your teeth pannier cheese that will keep in the fridge for a couple of weeks if you pop it into an airtight tub. And from there, you can just take them out as needed. But I hope you've enjoyed this little video and you have a go at making some nice pannier cheese for yourself. I'll leave you to get on with enjoying the rest of your day. Have a good one and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!